everybody. Terrible Wednesday. It's a lot going on, y'all. It really is. I'm trying to get my son's, um, get his freaking tablet or laptop, whatever you want to call it, little miniature notebook things they gave out from the school district, um, fixed because we didn't know the port was bad in it. So, yeah. We didn't know the port was bad. So, I'm sitting there like, oh my goodness, like, I can't believe it. So, yeah, I've been running all day. Y'all, I went to work this morning, and then I had to go by the DMV, and I got to go back by the DMV, and I got some stuff I got to get straight with them first today, and, um, I had to run home, get the tablet from my son, call the school district tomorrow, tell him the port was messed up to where he couldn't even charge it. And then Justin tells me, oh, it stopped working while he was in the middle of a session. So I was like, oh Lord. I had called his teacher and I had told her that um, we was having problems with his tablet. And she gave me the help desk number and I called his help desk. And um, the lady got on the phone. She said, bring it to the school district. But y'all, I live I live here in King Street, but I ain't knew the school district had moved from their house. Because these are a big brick house, and I didn't know they had moved to the old elementary. I was like, wow. I didn't know they moved there. And the lady was like, we've been here for about a year. I was like, oh, wow. So, yeah. That just going to tell y'all, like, I really stay in my lane. Like, I don't try to get into... A lot of things I know I need to get into um, what's going on around town, but I didn't know the school was moving. I mean, I just didn't know the district was moving. So, yeah. Life is just crazy. And then, y'all, I saw where they had this little robot thing that wants to teach, like, the small kids, um, help them you know, stay focused for like kids who got attention span problems and you know, I guess I guess like a you know, a attention span um, short attention span, stuff like that I guess they want to try to help them focus more on the education, so they want to use Avi, the um, robot as a dish, like a a person that could teach them, like they're trying to get teachers to put in the work through the um, robot, I was like wow, they got a robot? Like, I ain't never see a robot in person until today. So, but that's cute though. I mean, it's really cute. And I was like, man, I want to buy that for my son. You know, I just thought it was real cute. So, we're going to see how that go. But I hope and pray that the school get that grant that they need for those. Because that is so helpful, y'all. That is so helpful. But yeah, just on my way to the DMV. I gotta get some paperwork straight for my car. But anyway, y'all, it's been a heck of a day. It really has. Oh my God, dude, I'm gonna be here all day. Like, the DMV is like jam packed. Like, y'all should see this. Look at all these cars. Like, what in the world? Oh boy, it's about to be rough. I play this about to be real rough. Because there's too much people here. There's too much people here. Like, the DMV is the handicap. Oh, God. Um, the, the DMV and Lake City be packed like this. I'm just like, what the heck, man? Door, y'all. I'm gonna get this stuff straight. Okay. Oh god, I might as well call out of work today. I was supposed to go to work at 4 30, but it's almost 4 o'clock. And there ain't no way in the world I'm gonna get stuff done. Look how packed y'all should see how packed this is. Just look at it. All these people, just look at all these people standing out the store. 
Now you know, this is ridiculous. And then all these cars was in the lot. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know how I'm gonna get all my stuff handled, but I think I better just go to another DMV. Cause this hit crazy. Like I can't, I'm pretty sure they can put everything in the same system. Look at all these cars and stuff. got to get this stuff done today like the good thing about my schedule with with the job I do from home I make my own schedule but this here is a mess like I'm gonna have to miss out work and I done been here I done been here one time because I had appointment set at one o'clock but then I had to wait another two two hours for something to come in through their system for them to say okay you're good Yeah, this is just, this is crazy. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. It just seems like every DMV I pass by, y'all, it's always packed. It's always packed. So, I don't know. This is every DMV. Like, literally, and I remember the man was in from Charleston within there, y'all, and he was like, he been sitting there all day, not all day, but um, this was the only place he could get an appointment into because the one in Charleston was booked up for months before they can get in the door. So he had to come all from Charleston to here to go to a DMV. Y'all know this is ridiculous. Like South Carolina need to stop this crap about having some appointments for a DMV. I just thought they need to stop. Like, something got to give. Or make more DMVs or something. Good God. But that man came all the way from Charleston. He should have stopped by the one in Mark's Corner or something like that before he came all the way over here. But he came all the way over here just to get some stuff straight in the system. The same issue I'm dealing with. Getting stuff straight in the system. It's crazy. It's crazy. All these people standing out the door. This is ridiculous. I thought I'm a, I ain't going to make it back in town to four. It's like 4 1 right now. You know, it, it's just no way. No way I'm going to make it back in time enough for work. I'm glad I can schedule myself because when I clock in, that's, that's on my schedule. But good God, that means I'm going to really have to work. Um, a double on tomorrow and Friday. It's gonna be ridiculous. But we're gonna see how this goes. Because they got people waiting at the door. Now that's crazy. They need to stop this social distancing stuff because ain't nobody still social distancing. People ain't doing it. They tell you to stand six feet apart, everybody still bunch up on one another. That's like going to Walmart. You ain't you ain't six feet apart in Walmart. When you walk through that door, who you walk, who walking behind you? Some people all close up behind you. People don't people don't social distance like they're supposed to. That's why I say I don't see the point with the DMV. Like this is crazy. But we gonna see. I'll get back on y'all when I'm finished. So hey everybody, I'm back. I survived the DMV. I'm at home. I'm blessed. I thank God for it. I thank God that I got out of time enough. I got like five more minutes. I got clock back in to work. So I'm about to grab my stuff out of the car and get right for the next job. <laughs> so um, might vlog a little bit before I go to bed, but my day was hectic, y'all. I was trying my best. I was trying my best today to not let the devil take hold of me. I thank God that I'm alive. I thank God that I'm surviving the best that I can. 
I just thank God. I thank God for everything. Thank God for open doors for me when doors wanted to close. I'm just grateful and I'm thankful for everything that's coming good my way. Even down to the bed. I'm thankful for the bed too. Because if I because we all got to go through challenges in life. Life is just full of challenges. We can be here today and not be here tomorrow. So I'm just telling everybody now, I'm not trying to be all religious and whatnot, but thank God that you are here no matter how bad your day goes and no matter how good your day goes. Thank God for it. Give him the glory. Give him the praise because without him, we wouldn't be here. And we wouldn't be where we at today. I just wanted to share that message to y'all before I get ready to go in the house and go to work. I thank God for everything. Because I've been struggling, y'all, since COVID. COVID has really, really pushed me back. Really pushed me back. I've been struggling. So, I'm not afraid to say that. I've been struggling, y'all. I don't know nobody that's perfect can say they didn't get affected by COVID-19. If you didn't get affected by COVID-19, you are truly blessed. Thank God for it. Thank God that you didn't have to struggle. Thank God your bills were getting paid. Thank God that you are alive and still eating and living the best that you can live. Thank God for it. So I just wanted to share that message before I go in the house. And I'm about to head on to work. And I might vlog a little bit before we go to bed. And that might be it. Cause I'll let y'all talk to Zakari and tell y'all how he did on his computer the day before it crashed. Just to give y'all a little update. So I'll see y'all later. Bye bye. Get baby a bath. <laughs> well, actually a shower. I give my boy showers. <laughs> Get your nigga to tell him to. <laughs> Nobody wants to see your butt. Go. Nobody wants to see your butt. Go. So, um, giving him a bath or shower before I go back to work. Yeah, okay, give him a shower because you we need one. You know, we're doing virtual learning. Mom, you move that bath or how to move it. Move it back. I can't see. <laughs> Yeah, good. Now we got you in the shower. Oh, <laughs> Gotta move this back. I can't. You gotta move it. But now, I say right here. No, right here. Make it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. Yeah, it's funny. Rinse off good. So go in his messy room. Sakari always messing up his room. As always. You know, give him some new PJs. I had to organize the dresser drawer better than this. But, yep. Giving him a bath. Here's his Ryan draws. And, looking for him some pajamas. Because, well, these are do. I know these. I don't know. But y'all know what? I just bought as a price some new pajamas. Let me show y'all his new pajamas. But I think they're too wintery right now because it's still kind of semi-hot. Um, I bought these from Sam's. So these are his new winter pajamas and I don't want to put them on him right now. And um, I'm just gonna put some pants on him and a t-shirt. Because mind you, he's at home. So let me see what I've got. Okay. I'm looking y'all, cause everything mixed up between his daddy. And I trying to clean up stuff. This is what we go through. So this is a pajama set, but it's wintery. So I'm not gonna put that on him. 
and he got he got some sets that look kind of tight and too small now i got to rearrange this drawer like i said y'all because i got all tangled up and i feel like this might be too small on him because now it's a 5t and it depends how i cut well, i might can get away with these right here to put on him a long sleeve shirt came with this too i think if i ain't mistaken Well, that's a very messy drawer. Because he had these on for the last past three days. So I like to try to change them up a little bit. And this is pajamas. And I'm putting Ryan World drawers on him. Really, Zakari? <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> so I already got Bakari dressed for bed, and um, he's getting ready to go to bed in a few minutes because we have to get up in the morning to get him um, situated and get him started for tomorrow day, like tomorrow morning with the teachers and stuff. Um, I'm getting ready to go back to work. My day has been very busy. As you guys can see, so I also gotta do some more editing on my laptop, and this is my computer as well. But y'all, I gotta do some editing on my laptop because that's where I downloaded my video. So I'll be doing that tonight before I hit the hay because I'm gonna try to work up 12 hours tomorrow. We're gonna see how that gonna go. Depends how I feel. But anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here. And thank you guys so much for watching. And um, sorry the vlog hasn't been too long today. Um, I hope y'all took heed to encourage mess message and whatnot. Comment below if you felt like it was very warming to you or if it wasn't. Still, you know, let me know in the comment section below. I appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you felt like it was an enjoyable video today. And if you are new, please subscribe. And thank you guys. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.